Hi guys, it's Duncan from OverlandJournals.com and uh, the beginning of this year I talked about how I'm going to do a series of videos where I'm doing uh, camping trips for under $350. Well, it's this is one of those. It's a long weekend, it's Australia Day, Australia Day long weekend and uh, I'm going with a couple of friends going over to Gulwa Beach which is not too far from Adelaide, it's about 100 kilometers but we get to play in the sand in the beach and camp in the beach. So uh, just filling up before we head out. that we've done all our shopping and got the stuff we need which is not a whole lot because it's just for the weekend and it's just the two of us um, the first thing I wanted to start with is our fr my fridges um, in one of my previous videos I'll link leave a link above and in the description I, I talked about how I run my fridges um, as efficiently as I possibly can so here's what I did uh, the day before uh, for the last 24 hours I've been running my fridge on the uh, power of the home supply just to get the coolness going so follow me home supply for the moment it's been running optimally and uh, something else I do so I've got these ice packs and I'm going to drop these ice packs into the fridge as well so that helps the compressor run more efficiently so I've got all these ice packs and I've got heaps more of these little ones so they're going to go all in my fridge I've also got all the foodstuffs, coffees and teas going in here, so um, got my coffee in there, can't do without coffee. And for drinking we carry our bottled water and that goes in here, so they, they sit in there quite snug. It's always, you know, I always carry extra. Um, it's just for a weekend, uh, one pack of these would have been more than sufficient, but you know, I always carry extra because you never know, we might change our minds, stay a little longer or something could delay us, so I carry extra. So this space here was built specifically for this, so you can take a good 12 pack bottle of water. And then on top of it goes the, um, all our camping chairs goes on, on top of that. And I'm going to install my gas bottle that goes up on the roof. So my gas bottle sits here. So this is the, um, I'm just clamping it down to the, um, just got to adjust it to, to size, depending on the size of the bottle because it's a universal fitting. That's pretty solid. So gas bottle ready for the trip. I just got to get a few more things and then off we go. Paul, you're going to drop your pressures? Uh, it's, only, it's only this little bit, then it's hard sand. Okay, roger. <laughs> so we just drove on to Gulva Beach and uh, we're going to drive along this way about 10 kilometers and we get come to the Murray mouth where the Murray River meets the Southern Ocean. So we just stopped for a little break. The water is beautiful and uh, look at this. It's beautiful. Straight away. 
Sorry for us, that's why he's <laughs> going last two minutes. Hey. That's my friend Paul. Say hello, Paul. Hey, hello, Paul. <laughs> Say hello, Karen. Hello. hello. <laughs> so we're picking up some pippies from the from the beach over here. There's plenty. Just pick them up, and there'll be a good meal, uh, probably for lunch or dinner. Well, we already had lunch on the way here, so it'll be dinner. Woo! <laughs> That's so awesome. And the water is beautiful. Ambient temperature is about 30 degrees today and the water temperature is around about 25. Woo! <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Does it taste small? No, it's good. So what does that mean now? So 3.5 centimeters. Yeah. So if it fits through the hole. If it can't fit through the hole, we're all good. So it shouldn't be smaller than that. That's right, yeah. So we picked these up. Cannot be cannot be smaller than 3.1, is it? 3.5 centimeters. If it is smaller than 3.5 centimeters, you've got to throw it back. So Paul had one of these, so it's got the exact size. So you've got to put it over there. And if it goes through, that means it's smaller than 3.5. And this one is small, so we've got to throw it back in again. Look for a bigger one. Ah, there you go. That's a perfect example. There you go. Okay, keep this. Do not drop the camera. <laughs> and the maximum you can get is 100 pippies per person per day. So between the four of us, we can get 400. So we are going to head further down to the Murray River, where the Murray River meets. Uh, the Southern Ocean, it's called the Murray Mouth. So we just stopped over for a few minutes, enjoyed the ocean, and then we're gonna head on further up, and that's where we will camp for tonight. Uh, the sand is quite thick, so we're gonna air down a bit. I think I'll go down to about 25 uh, all around. So I'll put it down to about 24 PSI, and uh, that makes it so much easier on the vehicle and also gets a lot more traction because the footprint of the of the tire widens so that makes it so much easier so i'm thinking about 24 25 and then i'll go down further if i have to but i don't think so has fancy caps. It's been a long weekend so a lot of traffic here and uh, the sand's been really churned up so it's a bit tough going. Um, no need for low range uh, but still it's, it's a bit um, tough going so you've got to keep working at it and let the car do its own thing. We are going to keep a little bit of a distance from you guys, yeah? Yeah, if you want. Do we smell? In case we both get stuck together. Oh, I think. I think I'm pretty good now. It's hard. Yeah, yeah. So go up the ridge, turn around, facing this way. Yeah. And then, okay. So we're gonna go back up, and then we'll probably camp here tonight. But we're gonna go up. Paul seen a photo opportunity, so we're gonna take some photos and we come back. So this is what happens when two photographers travel together. Bit so of video would be good too, eh? Hey? There you go. <laughs> I'm going to do some video too. Okay. Both of them are wedding photographers and traveling together. So Paul has a big lens, 200 millimeter lens. 2.8. Prime lens. Prime lens. An amazing lens. Dying to get one too. But anyway, he's got that lens on. Now he's decided he's going to drive back so that he could get the perfect photo of the two vehicles. Behind me is the Murray River and right over here, right behind me now, is the Southern Ocean. So Murray River meets the Southern Ocean. So this is called the Murray Mouth here in South Australia.
Take a bun, cut it on the top. Put it back there. And then take the inners out. Make a little hole like that. Like that. Then take a bit of that, the, mm -hmm. the meat. Yeah. I'm just going to use my fingers. Stuff it in there. Beautiful. Then you put this Stop. back in there. Top. Cheers. Shall I make one for you? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have this one? I'll call this. A, I'll call this a Duncan Burger. <laughs> So it's day two, a glorious morning. It's beautiful to wake up and it's peaceful. There's no one around, just us. And uh, last night was good fun. Uh, we stayed up till about midnight or a little after midnight. Uh, had an early me meal and then uh, set up just talking. Good company, Karen and uh, Paul are good friends of ours. So it was good to have their company and they enjoy camping too. And uh, yeah, we set up looking up at the stars and trying to identify stars and didn't get much far with it because we didn't know much but uh, it was good fun so this is what it's all about this lifestyle is wonderful I love it and uh, just get your mind off things when you come out here so um, if you're thinking of getting into it get into it I guarantee you you'll you'll love it time to make some coffee I got this from a hi hiking store. What? <clears throat> from a shop where they sell like for hikers. So they send, sell these really compact stuff. And since it's just the two of us. We got right. two pots. Two pots. Kettle. And got frying pan. It's like Russian dolls. So just for the two of us, it's perfect. Okay. Let me get some water. Yeah. 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 